What's up everyone and welcome to our final Double Down Sunday. In this video we're drawing Sticks the Badger from Sonic Boom. Let's get started in the center of our page with the top edge of the muzzle. So we start on the left side, we start with the curve going up and then back down on the right. Now let's curl this back up towards the cheeks. Starting back on the left, just gonna round this out and then pull that up. Now we're gonna round out the cheeks. Starting back on the left, just wanna pull this back in. And it'll connect the bottom with a curve. Let's start back on the left. We'll round up the chin, coming down in the middle. And then we'll pull that back up on the right side. Let's go back up to the top and draw a small oval for the nose. And then we'll fill the nose in black. Let's move down and draw in the mouth. Starting back on the left, curve down, and then up. And then we'll add a small bracket on the corners of the mouth. Now we're gonna move up to the top and draw on the outside of the eyes. Starting from the left, curve up, round out the top of the eye. And that's gonna bring that down along the side. Just rounding the eye, and then pulling that back in on top of the cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving up, rounding out the top, come down along the side, and then back in on the cheek. Now I'm gonna push the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. So let's start from the inside edge of the left eye and draw an oval, going up toward the top, come down, and then back up on the inside. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Going up, down, and then back up. Let's add a small circle on the top left side of each iris, the highlight. And we'll draw a small oval in the inside of the iris, just underneath the highlight. Come down, up, and then out. And the same thing on the right. And then we'll fill the center of the pupil in black. Let's move up to the top of the eyes and thicken up the lashes. Starting from the inside of the eye, just gonna taper this so it gets thicker as you go up, and then down on the side. And do the same thing on the right. And we'll curl up the first set of lashes. Starting on the left, so we round this out and pull that up. Let's taper that back in towards the side of the eye, right about there. And we'll add one more set of lashes, coming down and then up. And we'll pull that back in towards the side of the eye. Let's fill the lashes in black. Let's add those two large spikes tied to the side of the head. From the left cheek, we're gonna step down, curve down, and then out. Go over towards the right, go down, and then out. Let's draw the edge of the spike. Starting back on the left, we're gonna curve up and out. And then from the outside, we're gonna curve up, and then just bend that in on top of the eye. Now we're going to add that trim along the side of the head. Let's start from the side of the cheek, curve out and up. And then from the top, we're just going to bend this out and then down on the side. Now we're going to move back up to the top and draw on the ears. Let's start from the outside, curve up and in with a short line. And we'll add some fur along the edge of the ear. Start from the top, go out and then down and we'll taper that back up and in. Let's add another point, going up and out. Then again, we're just gonna pull that back in. Let's add one more spike, going up and out. And then from here, we're just gonna pull this in and then down towards the top of the head.
Let's close off the top of the head. Starting back on the left, curve up, and bend that back down. Now we're going to add that trim coming down the center of the forehead. Starting from the inside of the ear on the left, we curve in and then down towards the inside of the left eye. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's move back up and draw the inside of the ear. From the top, we're going to step down, curve up and out on both sides. Go out and then down. And we'll connect the outside to the inside with a curve, going up and in. Let's go back down and add those straps going along the base of the spikes. Starting from the outside, we're going to draw a bracket. Going around and then in. The same thing along the inside. Connect the ends with the curve. Coming down and then in. Let's add another strap. Starting from the outside, just going to round this out. And then again, we'll connect the ends with a curve. And now we're going to bundle the spikes along the bottom. From the outside of the straps, we're going to step in, curve down, and then in towards the center point. So let's start with the top. Stepping in, come down, and then in. From the inside, we'll step out, come down, and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then we'll layer two more spikes along the outside. Stepping out, curve down and out. Go to the inside, do the same thing. Now from the tip, it's going to go out and then in behind the strap. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now that we've got the head, let's move down and draw the side of the body. We start over on the left side, just underneath the head, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Move over towards the right, go out, and then down towards the same height. Let's close off the bottom. Starting on the left, curve down, and then up. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to curve in and then down towards the center point. Let's start with the left. Coming in and down, go up and out towards the right. And then we'll add a simple necklace in the center. Starting from that center point, draw a circle. Going around. And up. I'm just going to trace a circle along the inside. And then from the top of the circle, curve out and up on the left underneath the head. Go back to the center, go out and up on the right. Let's move down and draw the bottom edge of the shirt, but we're going to add a notch on the left side. So we're going to start from the side, start with a curve going up and in. We're going to draw an upside down V. And then we'll continue that curve going up and back down on the right side. And then from the left hip, we're going to step up and just follow that same curve. Going down, and then up, and then leaving a gap in the center, we draw two lines. One on the left, and one on the right. Let's draw the rope coming down the side. Starting on the left, curve out and down. Same thing on the right. I'm just going to flatten off the bottom with a short line, and we'll pull that back up and in underneath the belt. Now I'm going to go back out to the hips and draw the outside edge of the skirt. Let's start on the left side. Curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. And then we're going to roughen up the bottom edge of the skirt. Starting on the left, curve down and in. Now from here we're going to step down, curve up and out towards the left side. Let's go back down towards the bottom. And go down, go up out towards the right, and go up towards the right side of the skirt. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw the inside edge of the legs. We step over towards the left, curve out and down, go to the right side, and do the same thing. Now to round up the bottom of the leg, starting from the left, come down and up, do the same thing on the right. Now we want to follow that same curve along the outside of the leg, going up and then in. And then we'll surround the base of the leg with a thick cuff. Starting from the outside, we'll step up, 
out and then down. Go to the inside, step up, do the same thing. Do the same thing on the right leg. And then we'll connect the outside with the curve, coming down and then up. And then we're going to go back to the inside, curve in and then down towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down and then up towards the toe. Let's go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. From the toe, we're going to curve up and then in behind the cuff. And then we'll add a strap going across the shoe. Starting from the top, curve in and all the way down towards the bottom. Do that on both sides. And then step out and draw that same curve. Let's layer a thick sole in behind that strap. From the toe, we're going to step up we we'll follow the same curve of the foot going in behind the strap, continue on the right side towards the heel. And now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, right here, curve the inside of the arm, going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle with the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Now we're going to wrap three fingers around either side, starting at the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down, come down and up the second finger, and then the third finger, we're going to go out and just pull that in towards the outside of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to curve the arm, going up and bend that in underneath the head. Let's add an arm band on the left side. Start from the inside of the arm at the very top, curve up and then out. Step down and draw that again. And then we're going to add some bracelets across the right wrist. Start from the inside, curve across and then up. Step up. Do that two more times. One last thing we're going to do is add the tail coming out from the right side. So starting from the hip, curve out and then up. Taper that down and then taper that back in towards the right side. And that's pretty much it. There's Sticks the Badger from Sonic Boom. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.